ask Tom on home show. Fan from Mercedes, Texas has a question about a hot garage. Well, it does get hot in the valley, Tom, as I'm sure you know. Yes, it does. <laughs> All right. Well, Fam writes, I recently added insulation to my attached garage door and the attic space above it to try to control the temperature. I bought unfaced insulation for the attic space and now worry about moisture and mold. Tom, is this going to help him keep that attic any cooler at all? Yeah, the only way you cool a garage is with an air conditioning system. The only way you cool a business, a house, whatever the case may be, is basically condition the air. Now, the insulation makes it more efficient so it doesn't run all the time, or you can have a smaller unit in some cases, but just insulating a garage is not going to do you much good at all unless you heat it in the winter time or of course you air condition it in the summertime. Now, will it cause a huge amount of problems because you used an unfaced? I'm glad to say that probably will not cause near the problems if it's an unfaced fiberglass, but it's certainly not gonna cool the garage. Will it hold some heat in during very hot days after it gets super hot and then the sun goes down? It'll actually stay hot longer. Uh, so you might wanna open the garage door and air it out a little bit, that will help. But as far as some really terrible problems, no. Does it gonna, is it gonna cool your garage? No. So that's why garages, even when they're attached, you do not ever insulate them unless you condition them. And I always want people to think about this. You, you insulate against the skin of the conditioned space. So you have air conditioning and heating on this side, you have sheetrock, and then your insulation goes right up against it. It goes up the wall, it goes over the top where the attic is, but you don't insulate other places because it doesn't do any good. It's actually a barrier between cold and hot, depending what time of year it is. So it could really keep it hotter. If you insulate it, it gets warm in there. It's going to keep the heat in there longer. Well, think about wintertime. You heat the house and you want it to hold the heat in so you're comfortable when it's really cold outside. So yeah, the answer is yes. If it gets good and hot and then it gets cooler outside, it will hold the heat in there. The heat won't be able to dissipate as fast unless you do something else. That's why I say air it out with a garage door open or, and put some fans if it's really bothering you because it can get really hot in the valley and you certainly don't want a big hot box attached to your house because eventually, do you know what an air conditioner does? Most people don't realize it. It pumps the heat from the inside to the outside. So it's basically a heat pump, no matter what system you have. Mm -hmm. A heat pump system runs in reverse. It has a reversing valve, and you people hear that all the time. But an air conditioner is a heat pump. It pumps heat to the outside. Does So if he were to put an air conditioner in there, Tom, does he have to run it all the time? Do you, I mean, can you, could you just put one in there and turn it on if you're going to go out there and work for a while and turn it off when you leave? Is that something you could do? I do, but you have to have a bigger unit and it's not efficient. You're not building an energy efficient home that way. What you're doing is you're building a wonderful place to cool off if you like to work when it's really hot outside, like I do in my garage. When I go work out there, I turn it on. I got a ton and a half that probably would only need a, a, a third of a ton if it was uh, you know, all efficiently insulated and running all the time but I only run it when I need it. And it's the same for the winter time. I use the heating system on there uh, to keep the batteries and stuff in the garage acclimated, the cans of paint, but I don't turn it on more than 50 degrees or even 40 degrees. And if Charlie, I know you've lived up north. I used to have a heater in my garage up north in Lake Placid, mm -hmm. and that was just to keep the car from freezing. Because yeah. if anybody knows getting up to take the kids to school at 6.30 in the morning, you have to walk through the snow if you leave your car outside. It doesn't always start. And you usually have a heck of a time getting stuff off the window so you can see. We used to actually, um, <laughs> yes. We used to actually have a thing we put in the oiler dipstick and plug it in to yep. keep the, the block from freezing at night, so we could start in the morning. Some for some reason, yes. my parents decided that was a good place to raise me. So I don't know. <laughs> it, Maybe it's cold. To tell me something. Yes. I don't know. All right, you got a question? We'll be happy to answer that for you. Go ahead and. Go there and click on the Ask Tom button. It's the blue button right there. It'll take you to this page whereupon you can either use our form to send a question or you can send us a video. Send us pictures. Those always help out and give us a better idea of what you're talking about. Either way, send them and we'll put them in a new video that we post one just like this every day at homeshowradio.com, our Facebook page, and of course on our YouTube channel.